friends welcome to dr rajkumar's learning app so today's topic is about india and maldives relations recently there is the protest going on in maldives against india so we will discuss about the reasons for the protest against india what are the concerns regarding it and why maldives is important for india so what is the context india out campaign was started in 2020 and now the political parties they are pushing back against india out protest now they are trying to stop this india out protest which was going in maldives since last year or since last two years so here the india out campaign was started in 2020 on ground protest in maldives and later spread widely across social media platforms using the phrase with related hashtags so people were protesting against india's presence in maldives they wanted india to push back and they don't want any presence of india in the maldives so they started the campaign called india out campaign so what is the background we will discuss some background about india and maldives now india is the closest ally and protector of the maldives so india is historically considered as a protector as well as a natural ally of maldives and also it is regarded that maldives is under indian zone of influence in south asia so it is considered as india is influencing maldives political economical or strategic policies and this is regarded as the indian influence over the maldives also india is important political economic and strategic partner of maldives now what is this india out campaign now it was a protest in maldives that demanding to take the indian troops back so the maldives people they wanted the troops of indians to be taken back they don't want any military presence of india in the maldives so they started an india out campaign under the abdul yemen abdul gayum who was the ex president of the maldives now what these people are saying it is not an anti indian campaign and it is not also promoting the violence against india the only demand of these people is that the indian government should take back their troops which are stationed in maldives now actually what has started this anti india campaign or the campaign against india so in 2013 abdul yamin abdul gayum was elected as the president of maldives now he was pro china so he tilted his policy towards china so he started to take the steps to bring china closer to the maldives he started to take closer or to strengthen the relationship between maldives and china and this led to increase the presence of china in maldives and during this time china established its embassy in maldives also it started to provide the grants for the infrastructure development in the maldives and this led to increase the dependence of maldives on china and this led to the distance between maldives and india's relations so the relations between maldives and india started to deteriorate and china's presence or the china's influence in maldives started to increase meanwhile india provided two dhru helicopters to maldives for medical rescue and for the surveillance purpose but people of the maldives started to oppose this strategy of india or the presence of india in maldives and what they thought that india is increasing its military presence in maldives and so the people started protesting against india's presence in maldives in the form of military and so they asked india to take back these helicopters but india denied such thing and when the elections were held in 2018 yamin was replaced by soli government 
and again Maldives started to use this chopper for the medical rescue and surveillance purpose and they again reiterated India first policy and this led to intensification of India out campaign again so again the people of Maldives started the movement called India out campaign and last year Yamin was set free by Supreme Court on charges of money laundering so after the release of the Yamin he started to intensify India out campaign so what is the present situation right now so the members of main ruling party in Maldives are considering legislation to criminalize protests that affect the country's relation with other nations so this has been brought keeping in mind the India out campaign so they wanted to bring such legislation that can affect the Maldives relationship with their neighboring countries so such protest or such kind of movement should not take place again in Maldives also many major political parties in Maldives they are against this campaign so they are condemning the protest of the people also these political parties they have reiterated India first policy and said that these protests are politically motivated because again in 2024 the elections are to be held and Yamin wants to set a stage for himself and prepare for the elections to be held in 2024. So why Maldives is important for India? Such a small country located in the middle of the Indian Ocean, why would be important for Indian point of view? Maldives is located at a distance of 1200 km from the Indian mainland. Even though it is considered as a very important part for India. So what are the reasons for those? So two important sea lanes of communication passes close to the Maldives. So it is one of the point or it is one of the location through which major sea trade routes passes. Also Maldives can be helpful to India to increase its maritime activity. Maritime activity just like trade or exploring the resources fishing activities, mining activities in the ocean seabed, etc. So for this reason, Maldives can be very much helpful for India. Thirdly, to bring the peace and stability in the region, in the Indian Ocean region, Maldives is very much important. So Maldives can play a very proactive role to keep the region peaceful and stable. Also, the location of the Maldives is strategically important. It is very important for India as well as other countries strategically. And lastly, it is very important for India to counter the Chinese presence in the Indian Ocean. So Maldives is important for India to counter the China's presence in the Indian Ocean region. And recently, India has signed an agreement with Maldives to develop the coastal ports of Maldives. Also, India is planning to provide the grants for development of infrastructure in Maldives. So that's why Maldives is very important for India. So this was all about the India out campaign. What was the reason for that and why Maldives is important for India. So thanks for joining us. Thank you.